Okay, so hey guys, let me um, give you a in-depth uh, explanation of the DESA study method. Okay, let's take a look at number nine here. It says that a 63,0 kg sprinter starts a race with an acceleration of 4,20 meters per second, which is the next external force acting on him. Okay, so with the data study method, the first step would be the data. So good data, this is where we take out everything that they gave us. Ne? So, uh, umu book number nine, they say uh, a 63 kilogram sprinter. So we know in mass, so the mass is uh 63,0 kg yeah. and then what else did they tell us they tell us starts a race with an acceleration of 4,20 so we have also what acceleration of 4,20 um, meters per second oh meters per second um what is the net external force acting on him so the second one, uh, the second step in the DESA study method would be to find an equation that correlates with these two um, given ver ver given variables. Now. So I have a, it's called a cheat sheet, uh, for you, you'll be given a formula sheet. So amongst these formulas, you will look for a formula that has a mass and that also has acceleration. So uh, from my knowledge, it is this one. F net is equal to M A. So F net is equal to M A. And then we are born a inuguti. Um, the net force, it is what they want. Uh, what is the next external force acting on him? Acceler the mass, you have it. Acceleration, you also have it. So you just plug in, which is the next step. I need to substitution. So you now come to substitute these uh, variables that you got. So it is F net is equal to MA. So it's going to be 63,0 times 4,20. If you punch that in the calculator, you get 264,6. But if you can see here, the answer is correct, but then they rounded it off to 265 newtons. So that is how you do the DESA study method.